Okay, now in practice three, phosphorus in a sample of phosphate rock weighing 0 0.5428 gram is precipitated a magnesium ammonium phosphate and ignited to magnesium pyrophosphate. If the ignited precipitate weighs 0 0.2234 gram, calculate percent of phosphorus pentoxide in the samples. Okay, imagine you go to the mining site and then you cut your phosphate rock. Okay, so this is your sample. You take your sample and then you weigh 0 0.5428 gram. And then you go to the lab and you do the gravimetric analysis and then you get the precipitate. Okay which is magnesium ammonium phosphate. Okay. This precipitate, you further heated or ignited to get the magnesium pyrophosphate. Okay. So why you do this? Because you want to get the mass, okay, the value of mass constant. Okay, you want to get constant mass of precipitate. And then you wake the precipitate, you get 0 0.2234 gram. Okay, so what you want to find is the analyte is Phosphorus pentoxide in the sample. So now, how to calculate the percent of phosphorus pentoxide in the samples? Again, using the same formula, equation number four, you'll be able to calculate the phosphorus pentoxide in the samples. So, given the gram of precipitate is the magnesium pyrophosphate, which is MgP2O7, okay, which is equal to 0 0.2234 gram, and then we have sample, which is phosphate rock, equal to 0 0.5 or 2, 8 gram. So what you need to find is the gravimetric factor. Okay, again, using the same formula, okay, you're able to calculate the percent. Okay, so our analyte is the P2, O, 5. Okay, now try to do on your own. Okay, what is the mole of analyte over mole of precipitate? And then find the molecular weight of the compound and then you can get the answer. So I'll give you the answer. Okay, please try to do on your own.